All right, so right after I shot this video, I seen that Hassan Reddick roster bonus was pushed back to April 1st. April 1st, he's supposed to got paid, I believe, March 15th or whatever, but the Eagles pushed it back. For the people that want Hassan Reddick to stay, this is not a good sign. This is not a good sign at all. That means the Eagles are really trying to move Hassan Reddick. I mean, it's getting interesting. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's something. But I do know this is a telltale sign that the Eagles are really shopping Hassan Reddick. A lot of fans don't want to hear it, but I'm telling you, I will not be surprised to start of the season before the draft or a little after the draft. Hell, maybe even during the draft, Hassan Reddick will not be an Eagle, man. Sad to hear, but. Man, if Hassan Reddick could stay on this roster, we're talking about Hassan Reddick, Huff, Josh Sweat, Brandon Graham rotate, and then you got Milton Williams. You got some dolls. Nolan Smith will be going into a second year. But as it look right now, Hassan Reddick will not be an Eagle. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about the Browns, Eagles, Brazil. That might be week one game. Also, safety net Scott to the Philadelphia Eagles. We will see about that. And lastly, we got to talk about A.J. Brown putting in work. But let's get straight into it. All right, so before we get straight into the topics, what can I call Howie Roseman during this time? A capologist? A cap genius? Like, I don't know what to call him. When I say this man continue to impress me, I mean, impress me during this time. Why do you say that, Eagle Al? We already know he's the king of the cap, right? So Bryce Huff cap hits had came out. We know he's getting around like 17 a year. But always the question, what is the cap hits? That's what we care about. Know what it is? You'll think it's eight, seven. And you say that's good. No, it's four point three five million. 4.35 million. So he doesn't even have a high cap hit this year. Um, so what well, we was around 39. So you could say we at 34, 35 ish. And um Devin Devin White, his cap hit, well, I guess his guarantees it's like 3.5. So I, I'm assuming that'd be the cap hit. So if we add Saquon Barkley, Devin White, and Bryce Huff cap hit all together. It's only $11 million. And we, again, we was at 39. So you could say right now without CJ Gardner Johnson's and the other guys like Matt Hennessy and stuff like that, you could say we are around 31, 32 until they numbers officially come out. But still that can still leave you possibly well around 25 million and you can still, you know, Get a guy. You can still get a big name guy. Justin Simmons is still out there. I know a lot of people want against me with Isaiah Simmons, but to me, he's the best linebacker out there. Less is a guy we trade for. Um, how he just know what he's doing. You definitely know what he's doing. And look at Bryce Huff cap hits for you know the following two years. So this year, like around four point three five. No, the following year, I can't see it, but you guys can see. I think it's around seven, eight million. And then his last year on his contract, I'll be around 11, 12, but I'm pretty sure how we around that time will work something out. Whereas those cap hits will be lower. But I'm telling you, how we know how to work the cap, he really, really do. And um, speaking of how we rose, man, and a player we could possibly sign, let's talk about Nick Scott. Nick Scott. You know, he was with the Rams. To me, he looked good with the Rams. Athletic. There's a video floating around of him rocking Debo Samuels. You know, again, he made some good plays with L.A., but he went to Cincinnati, and I was reading the fan comments. You know, a lot of people like to run to PFF and this and that when the player is released. I try to see what the fans are saying because the fans give you the real perspective. Sometimes the numbers really don't, and the fans... And all the Bengals fans were saying, thank God he's gone. Oh, we released Joe, Joe Mixon. When are we going to release Nick Scott? A lot of fans did not like him. And some of the things I seen was complete bloopers. 
So I don't know. He is from like the Philadelphia or Pennsylvania area. I believe he grew up an Eagles fan. Maybe he need a change of scenery. I wouldn't like him as the guy, you know, to possibly play beside CJ Gardner Johnson or even being a third safety. I like him as a depth piece. But to be the guy, we're like, yeah, we got another safety besides CJ Gardner Johnson. It's like, uh, okay, it'd be an underwhelming signing to me. But get him on the cheap deal could be a special teams guy again, like the fourth safety, especially when Sidney Brown come back, maybe on the fifth. Again, you're going to need a body there because Sidney Brown probably not going to come back to like October ish. And then he might be rusty coming back. So I wouldn't be mad getting him but um to be the guy no you, you can't sell me on it because again i look at the numbers sure i gotta do my due diligence uh, again i wasn't really impressed by the numbers but then you look at the fans reactions they they just are very very happy he's he's gone which can be a bad thing you want fans saying like oh man wish him luck man i wish things would have worked out those are the good things you want to hear but when you start hearing other stuff about like a mid-tier guy is never good is never good all right so let's talk about aj brown man aj brown is out here working i mean he says something on wip like man I, i'm one of the hardest workers on this team and man he worked hard i mean look look at the workouts he's doing as this clip play on um, play it's insane it's absolutely insane and he's already explosive. He already can jump. He's doing all this so he can get better, per, you know, perfect his craft. Now we just need that Devontae Smith workout video to drop. We see Jalen Hurts. We know he's working. A.J. Brown is working. Now we need that Devontae Smith. Then we're going to need that Saquon, man. But it's good to see A.J. Brown's working, getting ready for the season. Because he said, man, when the Super Bowl was over, it's hunting season new season it's time to get ready time to get going because next thing you know in the blink of an eye you're gonna be like dang it's the summertime dang it's preseason then it's gonna be september again so it's good to see our guys working man they they putting in that work again it's really really good to see it with aj brown all right speaking of brown let's talk about the browns um, it looked like we're going to play the Browns week one in Brazil. I know I see a rumor about it. I think it came from Peter King that it will be the Eagles and Browns. But it's pretty much confirmed because let's listen to a Browns player say about Brazil. You were organizing the the, the room vacation. Where are you going? If oh, you're the party player. I mean, if we're if we're doing a cruise, I mean. Um, what if everything's on the table? Any, yeah, any, anything's on the yeah. table. Oh, uh, man. I mean, we're playing in Brazil this year, so I mean, we could do a could do, do a Rio, trip. yeah, just a little little Rio trip out there. Uh, I don't know how that would lose. <laughs> I, yeah. As you see, it kind of slipped out. He was just talking about, I guess, like vacation and having fun or whatever. He's like, "Well, we we do have a game in Brazil, and we know it's only one game in Brazil, and only one team came out saying they're playing in Brazil. That's the Philadelphia Eagles." Every other team was speculation. Again, I had a feeling it was going to be an AFC team. I knew they wasn't going to have a huge game like uh, Eagles and Cowboys. No, that wasn't going to happen. Or Eagles and the NFC East. I, I just knew that wasn't going to happen. And some of the games were too big that we would play. And I'm like, the Browns, you know, that's a big enough game. And it'll be a good enough game because Browns got a good defense. You know, Deshaun Watson is pretty good. He'll be coming back off his injury so it, it, it's a decent game to have for both teams in brazil it, it won't mess anything up nobody's really losing that home field advantage i don't think eagles fans hate brown fans and brown fans hate eagles fans of course we're going to hate each other that week but it, it's going to be a good game you know i think the nfl did it right getting the afc team then the browns so um i, I like it i like it man but hey man what do you think of how do you feel about the news today eagles browns how do we feel about that also aj brown is working how do we feel about how we roseman working that cap i love it i love it a lot and um yeah man this is eagle out